Hi, I'm going to give you an example problem for double slit interference. So this equation right here shows us the formula for the locations of bright spots, constructive interference, for a double slit. And let's uh, go ahead and get, uh, make up some numbers and uh, see if we can solve a physics problem. So uh, let's say that we have our, our double slit 2.3 meters away from a distant screen. And let's say that we find for uh, find the distance between the central bright spot, which would correspond to m equals zero, y equals zero, the distance between the central bright spot and the first bright spot above or below it wouldn't matter uh, is 5.1 millimeters. Okay, so we go measure that distance with a ruler or calipers or something like that. We measure this distance with a tape measure. And let's say that we already uh, have the, the laser and uh, we know what the wavelength of light, we read the label on the, on the laser and find that the wavelength is given as 635 nanometers. So that would be a red laser. And what we can do is with this information, we can determine how far apart these apertures are. So the, uh, all we got to do is solve for D in this equation pretty easy. So uh, D equals, let's do a little bit of algebra, and there we have it. So as usual, you know, a lot of times we're in these interference problems, we got to be careful about M. You know, what is M? Well, M equals zero corresponds to this location directly across uh, from uh, the midpoint between the two apertures. And then if we measure to the first bright spot, that would correspond to M equals one. So uh, pretty easy here. Just chuck numbers into the formula. Do need to be careful about units. We've got Y in millimeters, wavelength in nanometers, and length in meters. So let's be careful there. Uh, so M is one, and then the wavelength in meters, let's convert everything to meters, uh, 635 times 10 to the minus nine macroscopic distance from the apertures to the screen of 2.3 meters and then uh, 5.1 times 10 to the minus 3 meters uh, for the location of the bright spot compared to the one next to it and then we uh, throw that into our calculator and I get a distance between the two apertures of uh, 0.286 millimeters okay and so uh, yes and that's that's a pretty reasonable number that's a pretty pretty typical um, pretty typical distance for for a double slit experiment okay so uh, basically with these types of problems most of the time you're starting with uh, this formula uh, using some sort of logical inference to figure out M and then solving for for uh, whatever uh, unknown it is whether it's uh, this distance predicting the locations um, maybe calculating the wavelength or perhaps uh, measuring uh, somehow determining the distance between the um, the, uh, the double slit and the, and the screen where you're observing the interference pattern. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.